Hi friends, my name is Raj and you are watching TechWhite. So in this video, I will show you how to fix this black screen error on Windows 10. So first we will open the task manager. To open the task manager, you have to press Alt, Ctrl and Delete together. Now choose task manager. Now you have to click on more details. Now go to the file option. Then you have to click on run new task. Now you have to type services.msc then click on OK. It will open the services. Now you have to search for app readiness. Right click on it. Go to properties. Now you have to choose disabled option on startup types. Now click on apply then click on OK. That's it. Now close this window. Now again go to the file option. Click on run new task. Now you have to enter registry edit. Type REGEDIT to open the registry. Okay. Now on the left side, go to H key local machine. Now go to the software folder. Now go to the Microsoft folder. Now search for Windows space NT. Scroll down. This is the option. Now go to current version. This is the option current version. Now go to win logon. Scroll down. And this is the option. Okay. So this is the complete address. Okay, on the right side, now go for shell. This is the option. Double click on it. And you have to make sure that value data is explorer.exe. Okay. Now you have to click on OK. Because in my case, it is Correct. Close this window. Now close the task manager. Now uh, we have to restart this laptop and open this laptop on advanced rec uh, recovery mode. To, to, to do this, uh, press Alt, Ctrl and Delete. Now you have to press and hold the shift key and then you have to click on the restart button. With the help of this, you have to able to open your laptop on advanced recovery mode here you can see so now click on advanced option now go to the option troubleshoot now go to advanced options again now you have to choose startup settings yes now click on restart with the help of this is you can open your laptop on safe mode. So you have to press F4 key to open your laptop on safe mode. And then you have to uh, uninstall your previously installed software. So you can see my laptop is opened on the safe mode. Now go to app and features on the search column type app and features. And now uninstall the previously installed software. In my case, there is uh, no software on my laptop. I already uninstall all the uh, software which occasions this issue. So that's it. Thank you. Thanks for watching TechWhite. Have a nice day.